Hello and today you will learn how to create your own SharePoint theme to customise your SharePoint online sites. Let's say you're building a brand new SharePoint communication site or you're updating a current site. With this you were hoping to incorporate a theme such as a specific colour that matches your company branding. But the problem you have is that when you go to the theme options in SharePoint Your ideal colour is not available through the default themes. You try and customise these nine themes, but there's but what you are left with is just a site that's not quite how you want it. This is where Fluent UI Theme Designer through Microsoft Office Fabric Sites come in. Using the, using the Fluent Theme Designer, you can pick your primary colour, your text colour and your background colour. Your SharePoint theme will then be generated, which you'll be able to export and provision in your SharePoint site. So let me show you how you can implement this. First of all, you'll need to log into your SharePoint tenancy. You'll need to have your SharePoint site set up and open. You will need PowerShell, open and authorised to your 365 tenant. You will need Notepad open on your machine. And on your internet browser, you will need to search and open Fluent Theme Designer and then click on the top option in the search results. First thing you'll need to do is plan what colour scheme you hope to set for your SharePoint site. Here is a site which I've created. It's for a little toy shop company. And when I, it, sorry, instantly when I think of young children's toys, I think of pinks, blue, spearmints, lavender, lemon, beige colours. Though looking through the theme options that are available to me in SharePoint, as I showed a minute ago, There's none that really work with my solution that I'm trying to make, even if I do try and customise it. So what I've done is I've gone away, I found a colour tone that I like, and by searching for, let me just set that back, by searching for HML colour chart, similar to the one shown here, which I found on HTML colour codes, I was able to pick my aubergine theme that I'm going to go for, for my little toy shop SharePoint communication site. What you need to do is then, once you've picked your colour, is copy the hex colour code that's shown here. So you can do control C and then paste it into the primary colour field on Fluent theme designer. I had a specific aubergine, aubergine colour that I wanted to use, so I'm just going to type that in. There we have it. If you wish to go ahead and edit the text colour or the background colour, you can do so as well, though I like to maintain the black and white theme. At the top here, you will see what your SharePoint theme will look like. And below are the theme slots, various shades that have been generated for you, which you'll also be able to use on your site. This is really beneficial because the hierarchy of colour in the theme has been generated for you. In the middle here, you'll also see an accessibility checker, which will indicate any errors in your colour theme. It's key that your colour palette you choose produces legible text so that you can easily so it can be easily read by SharePoint users. You will know if your colour choice is not legible if an error message like this appears. I'll show you now. I'm gonna pick a green, I'm gonna pop it in here, and as you will be able to see here under the accessibility checker 
my color palette has one accessibility error. Each pair of colors below should produce legible text. Okay. So once you've chosen your color and you have checked that there's no accessibility issues, you can export your theme. You need to go to export. You'll be given three options, code, JSON or PowerShell. Now for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use PowerShell. So we click PowerShell. We copy this code all the way to the bottom. Just grab it, control C at the same time. And then we need to paste that into our notepad. Though what I found is that as it stands, this exact code does not work in PowerShell. So I had to do a bit of testing to get the code to work. So here's what you need to add to this code to ensure that it runs smoothly in PowerShell. Firstly, you need to set the name variable. This is how it will appear in SharePoint Company themes. We need to do dollar sign, theme, name, space, then set the name variable that you wish. So I put in my aubergine theme, close speech marks. You then need to define the palette variable because the code generated solely provided the color details. So here we're going to put in dollar, oh, just need a space there, dollar palette, that's it, space, equal sign, and the at. Thirdly, we need to finish off the final line of the command. This in turn will finish off the application of the new theme using the color provided by the theme generator. And that we pop at the bottom. I've put this command in the description below. Just to ensure that it's correct, I've got it down here, which I produced earlier. So now your command is ready for PowerShell. You need to take this command, copy it, and you need to paste it into PowerShell. Control V, return. And that has worked because there's no errors come back. So we close that, we go to our site, we refresh, we wait for the cog to appear, there it is, press the cog, click change the look, theme, and there it is, my aubergine theme. So you can click save from that. Close that. And there you go. My aubergine theme now works really well in this SharePoint site. If I scroll down, you can see that it's incorporated the purple into the background of the additional resources section. And also within the buttons, I've now have that light purple theme. And I think that looks much better than the blue that was given to me in default. I've also created some other themes using the same method, which I can show you as an example here. This is a cupcake specialist, SharePoint communication site, and I've created a pink theme for this. Okay. And if I go to the cog, change the look, theme. I've also created a dark blue, uh, sorry, a dark purple theme. There's my pink theme, which I just showed you. My aubergine theme looks also quite nice on this cupcake SharePoint site, which again, you can reuse the themes you create because they're all gonna be here within your company themes drop down list. I've got a fuchsia, a dark olive, and a midnight blue theme. So I'm just gonna set it back to my pink theme and save that. 
Over to that. So there you have it. I've just shown you how to customise your own themes in SharePoint Online. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. That way I can continue to bring you more tutorial videos. Thank you and I shall see you in my next video.